Hello everyone, my name is Tim. I hope you enjoyed my last video on how to plan your wedding with Google. I'm now going to show you another really useful application for wedding planning, um, something that I use all the time for business as well as personal life, to-do lists, shopping lists, um, notes I think of when I'm out and about, just about anything really, and that's called Evernote. Uh, you might well have heard of it, It's uh, it's been around a little while, but uh, we're going to have a walk through today and show you how you can use it to, to help plan your wedding. Uh, first of all, I'm going to show you how to get into it on the web. This is uh, very straightforward. We're just going to go to evernote.com and uh, sign in there. And that's uh, remembered my uh, my login from last time. Uh, I should note that there is a, a desktop application as well, which you can see does does pretty much the same thing. But um, for today's uh, tutorial, then I'm just going to stick to the stick to the web browser. There are really good apps for uh, iPhone and Android as well. So uh, it, it really, part of the point of this is that you can you can carry it around with you, and it syncs across uh, across all your different applications, across all your different uh, uh, your, your your phones, iPad, desktop, and the rest of it. So to get started, uh, first of all, we're going to create a new notebook. Um, you can see I've got a few um, notebooks of uh, this is the various stuff that I use day to day anyway. Um, but I'm going to create one here by clicking on that, and we're going to call that Wedding Dresses. So there we go, that's done. You can see it listing there um, in my uh, in my notebooks. And we can go in and we can create a note. So there we are, that's that note created, and uh, that's going to that's going to sync up now. So, uh, very straightforward text note like that, but um, doesn't have just to be text. Um, you can take photos while you're out and about with your phone, um, save those in Evernote, and uh, they'll they'll sync up and uh, show you how to organise all of that as well. Um, as well as photos, you could, for example, record a a, a voice note um, like you're using a dictaphone. Uh, to uh, you know, just just share a quick thought um, when when you have it, save it straight into the appropriate notebook, uh, and, and and there it is. Um, videos too, um, even entire web pages. Uh, I'll I'll show you how to do that as we as we go forward. One of the great things about it is you can then share the notes that you make with with everyone you want. So if you click on a little share thing there, and you can see you could you could post it straight on Facebook. Um, or you could uh, you could email it so you can share that with one of your one of your advisors so you know your, your bridesmaids or or your, your mum or whoever that might be um, and uh, you know get get their opinions uh, as as you go um, so real world sort of situation let's say you were um, browsing on the web and looking for a looking for a wedding dress so um, uh, I'm going to go to um, Cavendish Bridal House, which is a, a really lovely dress shop, quite local to me here. Um, let's go into their gallery, uh, um, and you can see this is uh, some of the dresses and uh, and, and what have you that, uh, that 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 she sells there. Now, as an aside, um, just quickly, I should point this out. Um, I'm using um, Google Chrome as my browser here. There are lots of other browsers and they will work um, pretty much the same. But you see this little elephant icon up here and you hover on it where it says clip to Evernote. That's a really handy thing to have. Uh, you do need to install that. It's a browser extension. Now if that sounds a bit techy don't worry too much about it. Um, it's actually actually really easy. Um, on Chrome all you do is go into the, 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 the window menu um, then into extensions, um, you can see it there. Um, I've already got it, obviously, but if you wanted to search for it, you click Get More Extensions. Um, you can see it coming up there. Evernote Web Clipper. That's the one I've already installed it, so I don't need to. But that's how you'll do it, and the uh, process is pretty similar in uh, in, in Firefox or, um, or or whatever you use. Um, so um, what I can do. Is if I uh, if I click on this on this elephant, and we'll just get out of the original option there. Um, you can see there are um, various options that this gives me now. Now 
I quite like this page. I quite like there's a number of things on there that look like they might be might be interesting. Might want to research that more a bit later. So I'm going to click uh, full page, and I'm going to click save. And you can see it says clipping, syncing, and that's done. So then if we go back into Evernote here and just go to all notes and there it is so there's the web page it's brought the whole thing into Evernote and that's uh, that's 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 fully functional so never wanted to look at that there it is um, or if I wanted to you know browse around the website there um, it goes it goes straight through so uh, that's that that's that's really handy now you can see that this is saved in here um, in my general notebook which is called Noty MacBook you could, of course, use a much more sensible name like uh, incoming or general or something, but um, there it is. And uh, you can see how uh, everything could get pretty disorganized pretty quickly with just everything everything coming in there like that. Um, but uh, if you look here in the um, in the list of, uh, of our notebooks, um, you can see um, there's the wedding dresses notebook that we created earlier. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this note that we made and I'm just going to drop that down into wedding dresses. So then if we go into that notebook, we can see now there's two notes in there, just the quick text note that I made earlier. Um, and uh, and there's our uh, there's our web page that we that we picked up and uh, and saved for later. Of course, you'll have uh, lots of other things apart from wedding dresses to think about. So let's just create a few more. So same thing. Um, click on the little arrow there. New notebook. I'm going to call this one wedding rings. And let's make another one, um, cake. Okay, that'll do. Um, you get you get the idea anyway. Um, you could end up with lots and lots of those for you know honeymoon uh, photographer or whatever. Um, and you put the various things that you pick up from from around the web, um, all while you're out and about into each one, and it keeps it all very nice and organised. You can see that these are distributed here in uh, uh, in in alphabetical order. Now that's that's well and good, but it's not um, not terribly helpful in terms of organising. So um, let's start with our wedding dresses one here. And again, once we're on, on on that notebook, I just want to click on the little drop down there, and there's this at the bottom that says Add to Stack. So we're going to create a new stack and call this one Wedding Planning. Okay, and you can see here that wedding dresses has become a sort of sub notebook of wedding planning. So what we can do then is go to the other ones that we just created, and same thing, go like that, add to stack. There's our wedding planning we just created, and that pops in there. Slightly easier way to do it: pick up the other one we made called cake, and just dump that straight in there, and there it goes. So uh, if you're browsing around the web, find some wedding cake suppliers that you like. You could do the same thing, you know, make a note of, uh, of, of, of who they are. Um, or, uh, or, or go and clip the, go and clip the web page, just like we did uh, for the wedding dress a moment ago. So straight away, you can see how this, uh, how this might be useful in, in helping to organize stuff. Um, you can do all of this from your, uh, from your mobile too. So um, you know you might be on the train and uh, looking up looking up dresses on your on your phone while you're on the go. You can uh, you can save those directly into the into the dresses file there, um, and uh, it'll be waiting for you um, when you when you get back. Now I'm going to show you a nice bonus feature of Evernote, which is something called Skitch. So we're going to go back into into Cavendish Bridal House here. Um, and I can show you um, this app, Skitch, which is um, a, a great way to communicate a little bit more detail um, when you're when you're organising your thoughts like this. Um, if I were to go down the bottom to where my apps are in my computer, uh, I'm on a Mac here, but it works equally well on a, on a PC, um, and it's of course available for phones as well. Um, you can see I've got the app called Skitch there, which I've got right next to my Evernote, uh, Evernote one open. So this time I'm going to go onto the um, onto the little elephant, and I'm going to uh, clip a screenshot, and you get this crosshair. 
pick up the picture of the dress that you like and then you get these options to annotate it so I'm going to grab this arrow like that and I'm going to say you can point it at this so you can then make a note and say um, love these details and uh, make make much more detailed notes of what you were what you were thinking about so we can save that and then if you wanted to share that uh, straight away you could do that from there and share it straight off to to one of your bridesmaids or or whatever so let's just pop back over to Evernote there and back into all notes which is where we were and uh, and there it is with your with your detail there. Now obviously that wants to go into wedding dresses. And there it is in there. What you could do, of course, um, is uh, let's do the same thing just with a just with a different picture here. Um, so it's gone straight away into the on, onto the screenshot option. Um, just to show you again how to do that, all you need to do is grab a screenshot. And you can tell it exactly where to put this note. So um, rather than it going into your incoming uh, or notey book, as I called it, you can tell it to put it straight into wedding dresses. If you're on a cake website, you can tell it put it straight into cake. Um, anyway, let's get the screenshot. There it is. And uh, let's just show you a couple of other things you can you can do with this. Um, of course, you can change the colour. Um, you can you can crop it down like that. Um, you could you can draw freehand like that, and then uh, make a note of that. Um, there we go. Um, there's even a thing to pixelate out the face if you wanted to, if it happened to be a picture of your sister or something like that, and uh, you didn't you didn't want it to know. Um, I guess then, uh, then, then there's that option. Anyway, we're going to save that straight into wedding dresses. So hit save. You can see it says syncing, and there we go. And it's showing related notes. Uh, it knows that this was clipped from the Cavendish Bridal House website, and it's showing us these the related notes, things that we that, that, that we've got there from earlier. And uh, once again, just to finish that process. Uh, I'm just going to refresh that. It would refresh itself, but I'm somewhat impatient. And there it is. There's our there's our clipping note with our with our um, annotations that we made. Uh, now I showed you you could you could have shared the uh, shared the note directly from there. Um, if you didn't do it at the time, you want to share it now. You can do that by email, Twitter, Facebook, uh, whatever. Um, likewise, the whole wedding dresses. Um, the whole wedding dresses notebook. If you wanted to, you could you could share that. Um, so if you wanted to get, you know, other people's thoughts and advice, um, you can put a you can put a link that any of your bridesmaids or whoever it might be might be able to access, um, or give uh, or, or or give others the opportunity to come and put the notes in, make their notes on what you've on on what you've said, and make it a little bit of a collaborative process. So it's a really it's a really powerful tool. Both Evernote and Skitch are free. Um, there is a paid for premium version of Evernote. Um, personally, I haven't found uh, the need to use that, but um, do, 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 do have a look at that if you think you might. Um, that's it. Pretty straightforward. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, can see how useful these apps might be in planning your wedding. Um, I'm Tim Hensel from Tim Hensel Photography. I'm entitled to a shameless plug, I expect. So. If you haven't yet booked a photographer, of course I'd love to hear from you and uh, have the chance to, uh, to to show you what I can do. Um, best of luck with your wedding planning and uh, bye for now.